Good morning. I'm Lynn. Way back there is Arnie. Chores are starting, so we better get started too. We're off to feed the bottle babies. And as you can tell by the noise, this barn hasn't been fed yet. Are you guys hungry? Oh my goodness. Pressure at work. Tails are set out. In anticipation, they all line up. This is our daily routine. So now that all these ewes are eating, I'll let Arnie continue with the back group. And uh, now I can get into this pen to feed the bottle babies. Just before you saw the mob at the gate, there's no way I was getting through. Bottles in the holder. Everyone's on. Got a few lambs sucking off their mums. Some playing around. Now Arnie's on to the back group. He's going to pull that dividing wall. And get to the ones at the back. Now while the lambs are doing their bottles, I'm going to knock down the salt mineral and clean the drinkers. There's the, one of the last little lambs to join this group. She came, over, she came over the other day with her mother and her sister. I can see that she has a sister because mom there has two dots. I know that's her mom because they both have a 59 on their back. And little sister is somewhere else in here. Hi. Wishes she could have some creep. Someone else wants some creep. What? Someone else wants some creep. And there's the little ewe lamb that nurses from behind. See how she looks different from, them, from all the others? We're going to have to call her Stinky. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Do you have a beautiful lamb? So there's 59 again with her mom, the last one over. 
And right, right here I'm seeing there's the other 59. She was under the feeder and she's come out now too. So this is how you can see uh, what mums and lambs are doing in the pen. The 159 is sticking real close to mommy. And this one's wondering where mommy is. She's gonna go check out those mums. None of those are her mum. Her mum is over here and her sister's right there. Right there. She's close. And she's not crying or anything, so perhaps she's just not hungry. If she was crying, I would lead her over to her mom, but it looks more like she's exploring to me. So I'll just let her be. And the other, her other sister, she's walking around now too, because mom's eating. <laughs> That's right. Is that guys that build the sheep and know the sheep? Is that number eight? That's right. That's Seymour. All the good readers are at home. Awesome. Why would you buy that thing? Arnie, yeah. careful. He doesn't like that. Hey, Bob. Well, here's another good one. What's the chance of getting two in a row? Arnie. Hey, what's the chance of getting two in a row? Arnie, stop it. <laughs> Now, <laughs> and there you go. 59's mom came out of the feeder, and both her lambs are with her now. They've both gone to the same teat. Oh, she doesn't want them to do that. But they're together now. Your mom just walked off, honey. She just walked off, and you didn't walk with her. You gotta get with the program. I guess Stinky wasn't thirsty because Stinky's over there at the feeder now eating hay with the mums. And the 259 sisters are together at the back there. 59's mom came out of the trough again to go see to her lambs. So she is aware they're both there, but they're both being silly and both going on the same side. So usually the mums will walk around a bit to try and encourage them to get one on each side, because she knows they shouldn't do that. You're a good mom. Here's the older lammies. That look that that looks like Pinky. Was it a girl? Pinky's number fifteen. Pick Pinky's from uh, the Texel that uh, had the bloody udder. Remember, there's blood in the udder when we first milked her out. No, number nine is the one from the mom who feeds the whole barn. That's number nine. Nine on the back. These lambs are growing now. Yeah, they can, you can see the side. There's Pinky. Pinky just walked in there. She's at the bottom, right here. Arnie, Pinky's right there. You guys, why are you following like that? Why are you following like that? Here, Max, come on, Max. Max, sit down. Yeah, where were you going to bring them? Just in there and go right around the corner. We're just gonna open up the, a new pasture for these girls. So we're bringing them out of the old one. 
We're going to shut them out. Go on. Look that way. Go on, girls. Go on. Okay, so tomorrow they're going to have a different paddock, but for right now we're just going to bring them up for a walk because we have to set the gate gates up back here. And I'm walking holding the camera. I looked at the price of a gimbal and what was involved in one of those that stabilize your camera. And oh my god, it was ridiculous. So, we're going to do it the rustic way. More character. Ben and Max, come down here. And he's starting to get pretty good at pushing them up instead of trying to block them. You guys are doing a good job. You're doing a good job. But the dogs are pushing them. Ben, Ben, Max. Come on, good dogs. Good dogs. Ben, Push them up. Ben. Push him up, good boy, good boy. Yeah, well, he's doing a good job keeping them moving. No, go that way, that's it. That's it. Good boy. You guys are doing great. This side, Ben. Here. That's it. Good boy. Okay, you guys, stay here now. Stay here. Ben, Ben. Ben here. So our beans are still here in the field. We're waiting for the combine. We're assuming he's going to come this week because we got beautiful weather all this week. But we did have a wind uh, event the other day. And as you can see, all the red leaves seem to have been knocked off. But we still have quite a bit of the yellows and oranges left. So it's still pretty yet. But you can see that it's slowly coming to an end. Well, it's how it's how um, how many rows you have. Now you just destroyed a money maker. Really? They're six hundred and eighty dollars a ton, Ernie. Why would you pull it out? So how many rows is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many? Oh, three, four. Andre said he had twelve, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's what the pond looks like. Oh, hear that crackle? Oh, and look at that. Does Andre have that? Four yeah. beans in there. Andre has the money in his pocket already, not sitting in the field. Four, <laughs> four in that one there. How many are they supposed to Three. have? Three. 
I heard they're going to have new varieties. I heard uh, shortly they're going to have four beans. That one there produced, uh, oh, I uh, dropped four, uh, four beans in that. And we'll see how hard they are. And they are really hard. Oh, yeah, really hard. So the soybeans are ready. We just need the combine to come now. They're kind of funny, weird, fuzzy looking crop. Looking at this field, it's extremely lush for this time of year. I figure uh, we can leave them grazing in this uh, paddock because it's twice the size of the other one. Probably right till the snow flies and they'd have lots to eat here. The clo It was droughty here in the summer and the clover really filled everything in. They just have to figure the gates in this field because they haven't been in this one before. So it's always le learning the routine and where everything is. But they'll definitely like this one. Honeys were just working on opening up that gate. All the grasses and stuff grew into it. So he's got to cut it away so that he can get it open. Meanwhile, Ben can play the herding dog. It's his favorite sport. Ben's getting really good at keeping them in the cluster. Hard to get a picture with their head up in this field. Okay, well the sun's going down, so we're going to bring them in because uh, since it's a new field, we don't want to leave them out here when it's dark. Here, Ben. They found the gate. But unfortunately, we still have another gate to open. So this is an exciting new area for them. We have to get them all the way back now.
Might want to block them there. <laughs> We haven't been in this uh, paddock for a long time, so it's all overgrown with weeds. Normally, it's absolutely barren here. Keep going, you're almost there, girls. Since it's getting close to dark, we're going to just lock them in for the night. Go on. Good girlies. Good girlies. Make sure the Shetland's in here. I gotta see if the Shetland's in here. She, oh, she is. Now in the distance, a few of the boys are starting to head in as well. Who's that big shady one coming in? Hi, you guys. At least we'd have to go out for a few months. Oh, they're all going to come in here shortly. And here come the boys. They're going to go in for the night. Hi, boys. You coming in for the night? Hi Klondike, hi Cash, how you doing? Come on boys, dinner time, dinner time, come on, that's good boys. Hi, how you guys all doing? You look really good. To do the count to make sure they all came in. We got some really neat cloud formations tonight. Little, the little spirally things that look like a missile launch. Well, we figure that he's passed his stone, and he's uh, like, he's one of the rambunctious ones now, so. Which one is, oh, yeah, that's Monster. Is it? Yeah. Oh, is he up on his feet? Yeah. That's Monty. What do you mean? That's Monster. Did no. No, monster. He was the one born 22 pounds. Well, look at the front feet. Would that be right up in the feet? Yep. I guess we should have shown this one. Yeah. Monty. I always said Monty was a good one. Really? We took a failure at the, at the sheep show. We got the best yeah, one. Yeah, but he wanted to take the fat one. Killer. Well, this, one, this one's uh, yeah, this one's a good sheep. That's Monty. Huh? That's Monty. <laughs> and who is he from? Handsome. Monster, yeah, he's right on his tippy toes, on both, on all four feet, and he's got good testicles. That's Calvin beside you.
You guys are all lovely. You are. Well, we got really carried away in the fields today and the sun is going down. So Arnie's already starting night chores right where we started. He's back in the feeder again. And um, I'm off to make dinner. So we're gonna lock up the sheep and feed them their dinner and call that a day. And I thank you for watching and hope you join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Now you can wave. Bye for now. <laughs>